What's up? Sorry, got lost for a second there. Welcome to the stream. Is anyone here yet? Anyone? Somebody? Say something. Make yourself heard. Okay, okay. Oh, you said first and you're second. That's quite unfortunate and I feel bad for you. Okay. What's up? What is up, Ian? What's up, Top Facts? Okay, interesting name. What's up, Alejandro? Just open this stream here. Make sure that I can actually hear myself. Okay. Guy Vanetta, what's up? Nine people, nice. How's it going, Bohemian Batman? Cool. Let's see. What's my name again? I don't know what to search for. What are you going to talk about? I'm here to answer whatever questions you people throw at me. So. Basically anything. 12 watching. OK, OK, that's nice. Why did you change your hair? Because I was bored and I felt like it. Why not? Also, I'm a John Hill fanboy and thought his hair color was cool, so I ripped it off. Don't tell anyone about that, though. OK, I'll wait once we get a few more people here. Tell about DaVinci 14. I don't know. What is up, Amar? If you're not subscribed to Amar, you should be. Turn on his notifications, because why not? Is it a video on getting keyframes from audio? Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. My schedule is backed up about two weeks at any given moment. So how's your day been? My day has been pretty good. It's been a pretty good day. I'd give it a solid maybe a seven, seven and a half out of 10. You are too underrated. Thank you, Jackson. It means a lot. 16 watching. Nice. What is your age? I'm 15. 15 years of age. Is there any way for me to get this chat to be larger? No? Okay. Okay. This should go for about an hour. So. <laughs> Kid. Go home. What if internet goes? That would be very unfortunate. And I would. I would just stop uploading videos at that point. Any brothers or sisters? I have an older sister. My channel. Let's see. Hi. Hello. 20 watching. Nice. Kelton, is the hair not silver anymore? No, it faded to kind of just a lightened version of what my hair was before I dyed it. So, when did you start filmmaking? Um, Maybe somewhere between three and four years ago. I started my channel about three years ago. Alex oh, Edwards, just why? Yo, oh, yo, okay. Yeah, rest in peace, silver hair. It's gone. What camera would you buy in the future? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, camera, probably... The two cameras that I see people using and think like that looks like a really good shot is Panasonic G7X and what's that other one? The Sony A7S. Sony A7S is probably the camera that I would use if I could use any DSLR because of the low light. The grain is just a terrible 
grainy images always. Ever worked with a Canon camera? I've borrowed Canon cameras from other people, but I've never owned one. Basically, why Nikon? Okay. I bought a Nikon camera because it was uh, less expensive than what I thought was the equivalent Canon camera. That was the D3100. And then I had Nikon lenses. So I was like, you know, why would I switch to a different camera body now since I already have these Nikon lenses? You probably get this all the time. How do you get more subscribers? I don't know. I don't even just upload more. <laughs> That's what's worked for me. But you can stay in the same brand. Yeah. Tips on color grading. Um, I have a video about my color grading process. What is the meaning of life? I don't know. Let's see. Let me Google it. Life. Definition. The meaning of life. Can you call yourself a filmmaker without having made a film? Um, well, I mean, by definition, I guess not, but a filmmaker would be one who makes films. Okay, life is the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter. So that is the meaning of life. Do you have a green screen? Um, I have a, a wall that I painted chroma green, but it's covered now. Your voice sounds like a 16 year old. You kind of look like a 12 year old. Oh, thank you. Oh, I like your profile picture. Nice cat. How long did the pattern on your wall take to paint? Um, well, there are a few, several coats of paint. So it took a few days, but about as long as any other wall would have taken just two coats. Let's see. You have a girlfriend, not at the moment. Um, let's see, 21 watching. Okay. How long is this on for? About an hour. Or, you know, as long as people keep asking questions. Can you collab with someone and who would it be with? I don't know. There are so many people. Basically anyone similar to my age who also consistently makes YouTube videos, I would consider collaborating with. Um, Let's see. But if you want to make a wall like this in your own room, just go on Pinterest for about five minutes. People post it all over the place. You smile in real life. Why don't you smile in your videos? Um, good question. Well, I mean, I guess most of my videos are kind of informational more than entertainment based. So I'm just trying to say stuff that I've already written out. Next video. Um, I think my next next video is about how to avoid grain. Yeah, working on that one right now. What are you using for live streaming? I'm using Hangouts on Air. Yeah. Let's see. Do you know or like Cinemassacre? I've not heard of them. I'll try and get my brain to remember to look that up later. Okay, let's see. <laughs> what questions have I missed? Let's see. Quick tips for cinematography. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, more light is better, in my opinion. Just makes everything easier. Don't have to worry about grain. Don't have to worry about losing detail. Found you through a Steven Subtick video, and I want to say it was really cool. You should have more subs. Thank you, Hannah. Um, what is your favorite color? Um. I hate to say gray, but I think my favorite color is gray. <laughs> it goes with everything. It's just gray. It just is. That's why I painted 80% of my room gray. 
what qualifies you to give filmmaking advice if you haven't made a film? Um, I've made films, they're just not very good. I've done a few narrative projects in the past. Best Stranded By, um, for me, it would be the, um, the new DJI Spark. But what's your favorite movie? Um, there's a movie called The Walk, directed by Robert Zemeckis. Didn't do well in, uh, in theaters at all, but it's a really good movie. Um, also really like The Martian. What is up, Luis? Let's see. There was something back here. It's your favorite sport? I don't know. I'm not really into sports, just in general. I've never played any sports, really. Not much of an athlete. I like your hair, question mark. Thank you, I think. I don't think that was phrased as a question. Hit Film Pro versus After Effects, if you get any of them for free. Well, I mean, if it's free After Effects. But favorite television show? Oh, I don't even know. Um, let's see. The last, the last TV show I watched was Sherlock, and that was whenever the last season came out. That was many months ago. I rarely actually watch TV shows. Hmm. What else have I missed? So what qualifies you to give filmmaking advice if you haven't made a film? Um, I guess I call my channel a filmmaking channel, but it's more of just like video in general and graphic design sometimes, but that's kind of rare at this point. How do you find music for your videos? Um, I find someone else who's using music that I think sounds good, find out where they got it. And if it's free for me to use, then I steal all of that person's music and have about a month's <laughs> worth of background music. Favorite car? I don't know. I don't know anything about cars. Um, have you already downloaded HitFilm Ignite? I don't really need it since I only use HitFilm. I don't use any um, any Adobe programs. What do you think about HitFilm Express 2017? Well, I am not a fan <laughs> at all. What do you do when HitFilm starts to drop frames while playing the project? Um, usually go down to half resolution. If that doesn't work, then I just try to see through the dropped frames. HitFilm has a tendency to be very stuttery and laggy. Do you like horror movies? Not really. Um, I like horror movies that aren't really horror movies. Like, um, what do call it? Um, I think the last last movie I saw that would be considered a horror movie was Split. That's how video editing works. Yeah. Let's see. I feel like I missed something up here. Oh, Hit Film Express 2017. I, uh, I'm sure it's great for some people, but for my specific situation and the type of, the type of videos that I make, it's pretty much a worse version of HitFilm 4 Express, as far as I've noticed. Let's see. Sony Vegas Pro. Would you recommend something else? I would personally recommend HitFilm Express. How do you lower the quality? My computer dies every time I open HitFilm. On the top right, there's a little button. Something about resolution. There's a little tab that says, it says, um, what's that word? Full. Switch it down to half or quarter. Yeah, drop frames are part of editing videos. It's quite true. How much was the follow focus that you bought in your good and bad investments video? It was like $40. Why YouTube? Because YouTube is better than Vimeo. Kind of. If Vimeo had an audience, it would be better than YouTube, but it's much smaller. 
Do you have Mocha plugin? No, I do not. When I used HitFilm 3 Pro, I had the Mocha plugin, but now that I've gone back down, why is this so foggy? Um, it's probably this webcam's fault. Silly little webcam. Hey, it has manual focus though, which is kind of kind of useless. Is that better? Is that less foggy? <laughs> Didn't think so. Um, let's see. What's this video so foggy? Don't worry about the dropped frames. Um, I'll try. So you can get it for free. Um, no. It's free in HitFilm Pro, but like you said, there's no audience on Vimeo. Yeah. Premiere doesn't drop frames. I don't know. Haven't used Premiere in a minute. Whoa, focus breathing. <laughs> but it's too expensive. Yeah. Good old expensive Premiere. You can get it free. Get your lens to chill. No. Favorite YouTubers that aren't in your circle? Um, let's see. That aren't in my circle. Let's say my favorite right now is probably Craig Adams. If you haven't heard of him. He's relatively small, but growing very quickly at the moment. Um, Premiere drops frames. Everything drops frames. Let's see. Also, Sam Sam Colder is like the new um, person that I'm like. You know, what's the what's the term? Favorite <laughs> favorite uh, YouTuber at the moment, even though he never uploads. Craig vids are good. Yes, absolutely. Do you like crystallized milk? I do. I do like crystallized milk. Um, at the moment, Annalise cannot play back videos in real time without having been rendered. Right? Alex Edwards just says M. How do you get transitions idea? Um, someone asked, like, how did I get the idea for the, the transitions video from a couple weeks ago? Like, someone asked how I did a video or how I did a transition from my Sedona, little Sedona travel film, and that was a relatively complicated one. And I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna make a video about one transition, make one about all of them. Quality of your quality of your audio has drastically gotten better. Last year announcement video, probably a new audio. Did you get a new microphone? Nope. I've been using the same microphone for about at least a year now, the uh, Rode Video Micro. Definitely recommend it. It's only $60. It's tiny, doesn't require batteries. It's great. Why have you taken such an interest in video making? I don't know. I can't explain my psyche. That's a mystery to me. What kind of music do you like? Um, Royalty-free music that I can use in videos without getting sued. Let's see. What have I missed? Okay. Why have you taken such an interest in video making? I guess a few years ago I just saw what other people were making and thought it was cool and decided to give it a try. Then learned a lot about it. Ta-da! How you come up with so many interesting ideas each week? Well, I would say, well, a lot of my ideas for video topics come from um, suggestions in comments. You people ask me questions about how I did something in a video, and that gives me the idea for a larger video. <laughs> he listens to royalty-free music in his free time. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm looking for uh, stuff to use in videos. 
Um, but also when I when I learn something new, I'll usually make a video about it. Where did you learn so much about color grading? The internet. Favorite website not including YouTube? Um, good question. Dang, that's difficult. Like favorite social media website or just website in general? Do you ever post your videos outside of YouTube? Um, sometimes if I make a video that's very centered around hit film, I'll post it on the hit film forum, but that's about it. Start making videos and editing. Feel weird carrying around a camera in public. How do you get over that feeling of nervousness? Um, I still feel weird carrying around a camera in public. Got to go home, Bruce. All right. Catch you, Luis. <laughs> get your little match the emoji there. <laughs> okay, let's see. How to feel less weird carrying a camera around in public. I usually don't film in public. I have very little experience with that. Um, I usually try to find a place off to the side where I'm by myself if I need to say something. But I mean, I guess just remember that most people like might not really know what you're doing, but they're not necessarily going to question it. Like no one will interrupt you. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I still have trouble with that. Let's see. Hmm. You post your videos to Reddit? No. Not posted any videos to Reddit before. Let's see. Favorite website though. I guess my favorite social media platform outside of YouTube would be Instagram, but time lapse video, do you leave your camera for some time? Um, I try not to use time lapses too often because people call you a Casey Neistat ripoff if you use a time lapse ever, which is a little irritating, but you can get around it. Let's see. Is it mostly flat in your state? Um, it's not. It's not like it's flat as like the land of the West, where it's just one hundred percent flat everywhere. There's some hills, but it's by no means mountainous here. Let's see. What stuff have I missed? I'm watching this in my car. I do not. Um, recommend or condone that <laughs> at all. Don't hurt yourself. Let's see. What have I missed? I've got just a bunch of N's and M's. This in wool string here. Not sure what that's for. Do you love your school? That's an interesting question. I feel like a lot of people dislike their school more than they should. Personally, like they kind of take it for granted. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to start making videos, but feel weird carrying around a camera in public. How do you get over that feeling of nervousness? I'd say if if you haven't done it before, just don't just like go out and try to record in public. Like try recording, you know, on your own in the safety of your own home for a while. How tall are you? I'm about five foot five. I'm pretty short. Let's see. Favorite school subject? Um, good question. Probably, let's give it a solid, I'd say probably like language in general. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, any English class I think is interesting because that's kind of 
story based and kind of clashes with filmmaking sometimes. Jackson says, yo, yo, you said you like to add sharpening to full, but what do you do about the noise? I only sharpen outdoor footage at this point because it does. Sharpening does really bring out the noise. What camera would you recommend for a beginner? Hmm. Good question. Not Nikon, because you will regret it later, like I do now. Let's see. Canon camera is perfect for us. Yeah. Canon is the better version of Nikon for editing. Love your videos and editing. Thank you. Let's see. Hmm. But what camera would I recommend? I don't know. I've only used Nikon cameras, but I don't recommend them. <laughs> so I haven't used a camera that I would recommend yet. But I say if you're looking for a DSLR, um, consider lenses in the future. Because those, like if one company, um, has really expensive lenses, one has less expensive lenses, then you should take that into account when buying a camera body. But I love English, but I feel like it's always considered a weird choice as opposed to electives. Hmm. Let us see. Sorry if I've completely skipped over one of your questions, I've not been looking at all of these quite. 15-2, love gaming, never saw you talking about them. What do your parents, friends say about your channel, hobby in general? Um, I don't think I've ever gotten something blatantly negative about it. But your videos are so helpful, keep it up. I'm glad they're helpful, Jackson. That is their purpose, and I'm glad they're doing that. Do your schoolmates know about this? Yeah, some of them. Basically, uh, people at my school find out about my channel um, by following me on Instagram. Basically, my Instagram like mutual recommendations are the only reason that anyone knows about this. So... Hello, 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 Dark Lord. I think you are nervous. <laughs> oh, maybe. A little bit. I haven't done this before. Let's see. But... Hi. Hello. I should make this my mission to say hi to everyone who says hi in the chat. But what do people say about my channel? Um, some people think it's neat. Everyone else is pretty much indifferent towards it, which I'm not opposed to at all. So it's better than having people say um, that's very weird. But let's see. I don't know. I don't think you should judge someone for their their hobbies regardless whether that's you know any kind of art or any kind of athletic hobbies unless your hobby involves like murder or something i don't see why it would matter but yeah. like there are more likes on the stream than than viewers here right now <laughs> Okay, it's equal again. The world is back at a state of happiness. Let's see. Questions have stopped. We've reached we've reached a standstill here. <laughs> but didn't mean to suggest that. Oh no. I don't think you did. How do you pronounce your how do you pronounce your username? Tolero? 
Tolero 999. I knew what you meant. Yeah. How's your day been? My day has been all right. It's been a pretty good day. Have you ever used After Effects? Um, for a few, like, I used After Effects for a few hours. I used the free trial one time. But other than that, no. I've never used After Effects. Do you? Oh, okay. Oh, they meant do you watch Film Riot? I did not. I'm not subscribed to Film Riot. Are there other young filmmakers on YouTube? Do you know any other people like your channel? Other people like my channel. You mean like people who make similar styles of videos or just like other other young filmmakers? What are your other hobbies? Um, graphic design, definitely. Sorry if it's been asked already. Don't think it has. Other hobbies. Um, I was into rock climbing a while ago, but not really anymore. Um, but it's graphic design, mostly. It's like the other big one that I put time into. Okay. Do you know any other people like your channel? So other, my other favorite young filmmakers would obviously be the young filmmaker. Um, basically everyone in my, my channel recommended page. That would be, um, Luther, the young filmmaker, Oliver, the joy boy, also Amar, um, Jake Truman is also a really cool, uh, young guy making films on the interwebs here Let's see are you releasing a short film maybe maybe that's code for yes soon like around the beginning of next school year i will be most awesome place you visited um i'd say probably london was the coolest city that i've been to around your age who are focused on filmmaking Okay, yeah, so basically everyone on everyone in the little, I think it's like humans making awesome things or something is the title of the tab on my channel, but all of the recommended channels online are the people who I would recommend to you for that, uh, that parameter. But most awesome place you visited, I would say for uh, like being there one time and being a tourist, it was London. But like, I wouldn't like living there, I would die. <laughs> I would just implode because it's such a huge city. But um, the place I've been to that I think is like the place that I would most be interested in actually living at is Pittsburgh, which is a kind of odd choice. but. What's the short film about? I don't know. You'll just have to watch it. I think it would be good for you to do more of those profile videos like you did for Steven Subtick. That's how I found you and you'll get exposure you deserve. Yeah. I'm working on another one of those, like a similar like brand identity video right now for Jake Paul. <laughs> so, and the little things that his, not that he does, but that his editor does. Apple or Google? Um, Google. Is that like an, like an Apple or Android thing? Are you a Funhouse guy? No. Do not watch their channel. Why Pittsburgh? Um, good question. But to me, Pittsburgh was like a more manageable version of a big city. Like it's like it's it's like it's an urban area. It's it's kind of a large city, but it's so small that it's kind of not, if that makes any sense at all. On the other side of Pennsylvania near Philly. Cool. I'll come over and say hi. <laughs> Let's see. I guess it's not Paris. Oh. Funny. Funny, funny, funny. 
analytical side of the Celtic video sort of reminded me why NerdWriter was so cool. Yeah, NerdWriter is an awesome channel. My tutorials never come out well. Um, make more. I think that's the best. The best way to learn stuff is to just to just do it and post it on the internet, which to some people would say that's terrible advice and will ruin everything. But that's what I've done so far. I've been posting most of what I've made on YouTube for a few years now. So I've learned a lot just from getting other people's feedback. Favorite video on your channel? Oh, that's difficult. That's very difficult. <laughs> um, so there are a lot, a lot of videos on this channel. It's hard to pick just one, but favorite. It's definitely a recent video, as most of my old videos are absolute junk. But I would say probably the. Um, what was that one? The Grand Canyon uh, cinematic video. That was just an, an edit that I was really proud of. So, um, let's see. How long have you been making videos? About three to four years. Like the thumbnail, best and worst gear investment. Thank you. You can try to duplicate it. Fair enough. Do you submit films to festivals? Um, I had a film in a local festival one time a few years ago. Out of filmmaking and YouTube, what do you use for your hair? Um, I use a hair product called Cavalier Clay. In case, in case you were curious, Samar, I would definitely recommend it. It's a little pricey, but very strong hair product. Let's see. Also smells like coconut oil, which is probably the worst thing about it. Let's see. Which video was the most difficult to create? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I don't know. That's most of my videos aren't like too difficult. Because there's I don't really have to jump through hoops to make videos very often. But the video that's taken that's taking the longest so far is um, giveaway that I'm working on right now. But there's a lot of technical stuff that's getting in the way there. Also, this stream was a pr pretty difficult to make. Trying to find a way to actually stream a picture of my face to the internet. What happened to the silver? It faded. Which was kind of the point. The gray was supposed to fade away, but it kind of went back to the light yellow that it was before. What camera do you have? I use a Nikon D7000 and an older uh, Nikon D5100 that I'm considering get, getting rid of. Better send me a pic of it. <laughs> I didn't pick the name. Let's see. How long do you spend on a video? Um, that depends. I've had videos that took me maybe an hour to film and three hours to edit. And then there have been videos that took me like four hours to film and 12 hours to edit. So are you going to upload this stream later on? Absolutely. Absolutely. When are you going to do the next stream? I don't know. Probably a few weeks to a month. Sounds about right. Um, how did you do that backdrop? I painted this wall white. It was green when I moved in. Painted the entire thing white and then taped off the lines in between with masking tape and then um, painted gray in between, let it dry, took off the tape. This way, if you just look up, just Google probably like interior design wall ideas or something and you'll find it'll be pretty easy to find a tutorial on that. It's pretty popular. 
kind of weird artsy wall to make. Are you actively interested in street style? Um, kind of not interested in enough to spend a lot of money on it, but kind of interested. How many frames per second is this stream? I don't know. I did not count. Let's see. What computer do you edit with? I edit with a, a desktop PC made by a company called, I think, CyberPower PC. When are you going to do the next stream? That is a good one, though, because I am definitely going to do more streams, but I don't want to do just another Q&A stream. I kind of want to check one type of stream off, then move on and make a different one. So one thing I'm really interested in doing is doing this exact same thing and answering your questions about um, about filmmaking and how people make videos, but to do it with a couple other people, like to get a few more, a few more like YouTube creators on here and answer the same questions and compare the different styles and techniques that people use and how different people achieve the same effect. Interested in street style. Okay, we edit with. Have you ever eaten a dragon fruit? I think I, I have eaten a dragon fruit. I have, yeah. That was so awkward. <laughs> Please try to ignore the Google watermarking. Yeah. Oh, the, the watermark in the, in the corner of the stream. Yeah. That's there. That's a, uh, happens when you do a hangouts on air stream. What kind of music do you like? Basically any kind of electronic music I will consider. I'll give it a shot. Favorite movie? Um, top two, The Walk by Robert Zemeckis and The Martian. Ta-da. It's out of stock now. Yes, the PC that I use is out of stock. Which game did you play last? I. Don't know. It's been a while. Probably a Gary or something dumb like that. Let's see. Favorite YouTuber. I have so many though. There are so many people that I could easily call my favorite. I don't even know. Um, top three. Let's see. Craig Adams, Sam Colder, and the young filmmaker. Because I can, you know, pick one, um, then uh, let's, what does this say? Pick one, yeah, if I had to pick one, I would say um, Luther, young filmmaker. Because he's, you know, can relate. I can relate to him <laughs> as, an, as a filmmaker, I guess. You know, we're the same age doing a similar thing. PS4 or Xbox, I don't play video games pretty much ever. So I would not be qualified to answer that question. Let's see. Let us see. It's just a random question here somewhere. Random question mark. Okay. Um, what kind of music do you like? I think my people who I'm subscribed to on YouTube would, would make that obvious. Um, I'm only, why don't you like cheese? Because it's not vegan. Try to be as vegan as possible. I just, my diet is anywhere on the spectrum between pescatarian and vegan and try to stay over here. So preferably not cheese. Why did you call your channel Digital Blast? <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like that name. I wish I could change it, but I feel like it's too late. Um, 
I don't know. I made it up like five years ago. My friends and I were like, hey, digital blast, that sounds cool. Now I regret that decision greatly. Hate comments and how many of them do you get? Um, I rarely get comments that I would actually consider straight up hate comments. Usually it's genuine, helpful feedback. Favorite movie between 1970 and 2000 based on the cinematography? I don't know. Let's see. I liked the channel name. Um, I don't mind it. I just think it's not really relevant to what I do on this channel. But I don't think it's necessarily like a bad or embarrassing name. I just, I kind of wish that I had a channel name that um, told people what my channel was about, something that related to, to filmmaking or art. Can you say my name? Um, my name. It's not too late to change the name. What would it be if you did change it? I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. Um, I have considered changing my name. Like, I was straight up about to like rebrand my channel and change the name um, earlier this year, and I didn't. Introvert or outdoorsy? Um, I think uh, an even, even mixture of both of the indoor and the outdoor world. How old are you? 15. Let's see. Oldest movie you've ever seen. Um, I watched a video of a train from like, you know, early 1900s. But I mean, does that count? <laughs> I heard it was the oldest, the oldest film. So I looked it up, but I, I feel like that doesn't count. Film tutorial vlog hair would be a better name because it has words that are more relevant. Yes. Very good for search. That's it, guys. I'm rebranding my channel to film tutorial vlog hair. How did you get into filmmaking? Um, saw what channels like Indie Mobile and Film Riot were doing, thought it was cool, and decided to try it for myself. Do you like Cinematography Database? That's the channel, right? I have not seen any of their videos, I think. So I'm not qualified to answer that question. But what's your best joke? Um, my old videos would probably be my best joke. Can your camera record in 60 frames per second? No, only 30 frames per second in 720p. That's how, how amazing it is. First saw you on Indie Mobile, cool. Let's work on the channel. Use some of your videos to teach my high schoolers. Awesome. Make a tutorial on the glitch effect, or at least I think that's what it's called. I'll look it up. I'll see if I can, if I can find it. If you uh, send a message and describe this mysterious glitch effect a bit more, then you might have a better idea of what to do. Are your memes dank? Um, no, they're they're moderately. I'd say they're not they're not excessively dank. Tutorial on the glitch effect. Like, is that a transition? I know there's a glitch transition. But hey, Luis is back. What is up? Do another video about Steven Subject. What would I do though? How many subs do you expect till the year ends? Um, I wanted to get to 2000. Um, my goal is to get to 2018 subscribers by 2018, but we already surpassed that. So what vloggers use sometimes in their montages? Okay. Let's see. But don't they just use cuts in their montages? 
I've never seen like a, a glitch type thing in a montage. How many subs do you expect till the year end? Um like you want me to set like a like subscriber goal right here, right now for 2017? Is that what you're asking? Cause I, I don't have too much control over it. People say, oh, let's get to this number by this point, but like it's kind of luck if you upload consistently. But if I had to try to to set like a good aspiration, I would say let's four thousand in twenty seventeen. Three K? Eh, not ten K. <laughs> not three thousand, not ten thousand. I go for four thousand. Type of genre do you think will take over YouTube in the next year? Um, fake blogs. That's what I would say. One million, yeah. Let's go for one million um, subscribers by the end of twenty seventeen. When is the next tutorial? Um, probably tomorrow. Time spent with film. What's your ratio of time spent watching or making? Spend way more time making them. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fake vlogs. Fake vlogs are the future. <laughs> Real vlogs are no fun. Who are your targeted audience? Um, probably just people like me. So people who reflect myself, like my similar, similar age and interests. Do you promote your videos? Not really. You mean like, like on Facebook, how you can pay to promote? No, YouTube has a feature too. You can advertise a video. No, I've never, never tried that. How do you afford all of your equipment, saving up, making videos and getting money? Um, mostly savings. Confirm the next tutorial to be the keyframes and audio one. But I, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by keyframes and audio? I might not be following. Called the RGB split. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. YouTube will solely be used for fidget spinner content. Definitely. Clothing brands. I don't know. Uh, that's it. Who even knows? I don't pay attention to brands too much. RGB split. I will look into that and perhaps even make a tutorial. Do you play any sports? No. Don't play any sports. Gonna jump on the Patreon train at any point. I have absolutely con considered, can't speak words, considered jumping on the Patreon train that would be a great way to fuel this channel if if people supported it but i'm not quite sure when do you think the entire gaming section of youtube will die um hasn't died yet largest channel is a gaming channel i <laughs> do it i don't know i i just don't know if people would actually um support it is the problem but if there's any time for me to start a Patreon page, it's now in the midst of summer when I have all the time in the world to make extra videos. Get keyframes out of audio so we get the react effect to anything we want, like text or spectrum. Hmm. You mean like, like an audio based animation? Like the Trap Nation, like audio visualizer? I think there's like a $50 hit film plugin that does that. Don't think the gaming section is ever going to die out. Yeah. I don't think so. Fun facts. Um, I can try it. <laughs> I can try and figure out a way, but I think the only way right now in hit film would be to use that plugin. So the same as Hannah. Yeah. I think gaming on YouTube is here to stay. Love it or hate it. I have the pro version, but don't know how to do it. Let's see. 
which software is more professional for narrative editing? Probably Premiere. I think hit film is good for people who experiment a lot. And I usually try to try as many new, as many new effects and techniques and videos as I can. So that's why hit film works for me. Dying because the gaming community is dying. Gaming community is dying. I didn't notice that. I think the gaming community is changing. It's moving to different styles and different games and improving in my opinion, but I don't think it's dying by any means. Do you travel a lot for your filming? Um, I mean, I'll go, I'll travel a few miles <laughs> to film something. Looking at any film schools to attend in the future, haven't looked into that. Unsure of your age, yeah, I'm 15. I have not, not considered any specific schools. <laughs> Got a few years for that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Searching for questions in here. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I'll do what I can. The reason I don't think it's ever going to die out, video games are probably always going to be a pretty popular form of media. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much why why I think that gaming isn't going anywhere on YouTube because gaming isn't going anywhere in our society at the moment thought you were older than me or the same age nope I am 15 let's see the hunt for questions continues. Only watched a couple of videos, but I enjoy them. Good job. Thank you. You like the entire makeup community or music community dying? Yeah. I think as long as there is a demand for something, people are going to continue making it. At the end of the day, if there's no one watching it, no one's going to make it. 16 isn't a big difference, but I thought that, okay. Close enough, 15, 16, same thing. Do you consider 20 old? I mean, compared to me, moderately, but no. Like, I think that between my current, my current, uh, spot in life and 20 year old version of myself there will be a lot of change there so that's why i would consider for me 20 would be old but i think in the grand scheme of things a 20 year old human is obviously a very young human how can i be good at visual effects and which software um if you need a software recommendation i'd say hit film since it's free but how to get good at visual effects, um, make stuff and post it on the internet and take feedback from people and listen to it. Name five dead channels. Um, my vlog channel, my other channel, my old channel, vlog channel. Um, yeah. And my vlog channel. Yeah. All five of those. Are you planning any videos or filming regarding the upcoming solar eclipse in August? I can't answer that. I cannot answer that question, 4K Productions. You'll have to wait and see. But yes, I am, definitely. Let's see. What do you watch for entertainment on YouTube? There are only a few people that I consistently watch videos from so um 
Who I watch for entertainment though? Don't watch gaming videos. Um, mostly just, I guess, what you would consider vlogs. Just people making whatever videos they want to. So, and of course, videos about about filmmaking because that's obviously my main interest and all. Let's see. Amara Jube says, crying emoji, crying emoji, laughing crying emoji. Repeat, 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 repeat. I guess I said something entertaining. I'm moderately surprised. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, three o'clock. Been here for an hour. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. I think this is this is why you're all watching the stream, right? Is for these for these parts where I don't talk about anything. Okay. It's two o'clock here? Two o'clock AM or two o'clock PM? Okay, PM. Yeah. Ever tried After Effects or other than Hit Film? Um I used the free trial of After Effects one time, edited Premiere, edited with Premiere for a while, but I've used Hit Film for years now. Let's see. 9 p.m. over here. Oh. You and the, uh, the Eurasia squad, right? That'd be Eurasia, right? 1 p.m. Okay. We've got a uh, a mountain time zoner. Let's see. What do your parents make of this channel? They support it. No one explicitly says that they despise it. <laughs> it's not a rebellious teenager thing to make videos, so ever consider making intros and outros for other creators <laughs> for pay of course none of that exposure junk um maybe if i did something like that i would probably do thumbnails for other creators i'm 20 and you maybe feel too late for a lot of things thank you Laura. let's see Do I have any questions for you, though? Hmm. This is something I've seen pretty much every other live stream I've seen has had near the end of it. Someone just like got bored and started throwing questions at the people watching. <laughs> transition tutorial part two, but what would it be about? Just other random types of transitions? You know what I could do is a, a Sam Colder transition tutorial he is kind of like the god of transitions <laughs> to me um reasons for switching to hit film um i think hit film is for people who like to edit everything from scratch this hit film has very few options for like presets like there's very little drag and drop. You have to put things together from the bottom up. So let's see. Like there are no templates or preset titles or anything in HitFilm. You have to make everything yourself. Let's see. Making intros or outros for other creators though. I don't know. I've I've made a few intros and outros, and I don't really like any of them, so, <laughs> true, yeah. If you're not willing to, to have everything be custom, then I would not recommend HitFilm. Like if you need to, if your workflow is one where what you need to do is just be able to drag a title down. Reverse Q&A. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I just got so distracted so quickly. Okay. 
reverse Q and A. Um, what's your favorite color? But instead of actually saying the name of the color, just give me like an emoji of that color. I don't know why I said any of that. Depends how old are you? I'm 15. Let's see. I need the the equivalent shape emoji of your favorite color. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Such a normal question to ask. Let's see, I'll add mine. There. There we go. Got a blue fish. Okay. Is that like a purple? No offense, emojis are terrible. Eh, kind of. I don't mind them. I think they're funny. Let's see. We've got two blues. <laughs> there is much less internet support in hit film than that of After Effects, kind of. There are a lot of hit film tutorials at this point, but. The thing about hit film is that the forum is so active that like there are so many as the forum is is a better resource in my opinion than the After Effects forum is. Like it's just it's a stronger community for answering questions. Let's see. I think this this emoji thing was a bad idea <laughs> on my part. Let's see. Well, we've been going for 66 minutes now. So I'm going to see about winding this stream down pretty soon. I've got a stop broadcast button right now. I could just, I could just press it. I'm not going to, but I could. Do you do editing title intro? Let's see. So there are 10 times tutorials for After Effects. Yeah, that's true. But, but hit film is also free. <laughs> Let's see. That is the wonderful thing about hit film. Will you go to film school? I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. I have not gotten to that point in my existence. Some of your favorite movies, The Walk and The Martian, are my two favorites. Let's see. Also, Snowden is one I forgot to mention earlier. I just like movies that do weird things with cinematography and editing. It's very experimental movies. This was fun. Do more streams in the future. Absolutely. I will do whatever I can to get more people involved in the next stream. Do a, a collaborative stream effort. Do you speak another language? Um, I speak fluent, like stumbling over my words, if that counts. Favorite type of TV show? Um, I don't really have favorite genres. But most anticipated movies? Also no clue. Um, I haven't been paying attention to to movie trailers lately. Is the walk the one with Joseph Joseph Gordon Levitt, not Joseph Jordan Levitt? <laughs> yes, the walk does does star Joseph Gordon Levitt. It's been asked after graduating from high school, do you plan on pursuing film graphics as a profession or as a hobby? Ideally, profession. If I could do. Um, film and graphics as a profession I could, or would. Let's see. I wish hit film would add roto brush. Yeah. Masking is the worst. Do you like Sherlock? I do like Sherlock. It's a very well produced TV show. Let's see. Canon 60D or 80D? I. 
have not used either of them. <laughs> so I don't know. I've only used Nikon DSLRs so far. So let's see. Where are you from? I am from this place called the United States. Crazy, right? Ask everyone here how they found your channel. Oh, okay. That's a clever one, Amara. Yeah, I found him by Oliver and Luther. That's the best way. That little circle of humans is the best community on YouTube, in my opinion. Probably should end this stream soon. Yeah. Ending this soon. What hair product do you use? I use a product called Cavalier Clay. How old are you? 15? Yeah, I'm going to go with Amar's idea. So, leave a little comment. How did you find this channel? I'm curious. Indie Mogul, Subtic, Subtic. Really glad that I found. Oh, thank you. Um, yellow is eye grabbing. <laughs> So good job. Nice. Let's see. I think Indie Mogul and the Steven Soptic video are going to account for a majority. <laughs> because I think like about half of my subscribers have have been from those two. That's from a long time ago, cinematic, I guess. Okay. Animation rig tutorial. Nice. That's another, another video that's drawn a lot of subscribers to this channel. Every now and then I'll have a video do really well and get a lot of views. What video are you most proud of? Um, Grand Canyon. Hiking the Grand Canyon. Don't remember how, because of Oliver and Luther. Nice. Let's see. Animation rig. Um, see, such a large part of my audience comes from these three videos. <laughs> Hit film forum posts. Fair enough. Noticing how many views the subject video has in comparison. Yeah, it has a lot of views. <laughs> that will probably be the most popular video on this channel soon. Thankful for having found this channel. I'm thankful you found it. Glad to have cool, awesome, uh, active community members. Yeah, that subject video has a disproportionately high amount of views for this channel. Five YouTubers you follow. Um, let's see trying to rank these in order if i can only choose five then i have to i have to kick some off obviously oliver luther orion eschel is awesome he has got some crazy editing on his channel those three amar and one more craig adams so let's see It might be just about time to end, to end this thing, <laughs> this little stream, this inaugural live stream. Hopefully, next one will be less less awkward, but I can't guarantee anything because the uh, the number of people still here is slowly decreasing. <laughs> Top facts says bye. <laughs> Best videos might be the transitions one. Okay. Used to carry your camera when filming. Yes, the gorilla pod. One last question. Okay, go for it. And try to use them in your videos. Awesome. I'm waiting on this this one question. How long does it take you to make a YouTube video? Um, 
takes about an hour to write one, hour of filming, and a lot of hours of editing. <laughs> I'd say probably one video is a total of maybe 10 hours for like the filmmaking videos. Usually the, uh, the Wednesday vlogs are, the Wednesday vlogs are a lot, um, you know, I rush them out on, uh, <laughs> on Tuesday night, <laughs> basically. So I'm like, oh no, it's Tuesday. I have to post something tomorrow and then frantically film and edit the video. Will you blend in the comments in the upload of the stream? Like, will I put the, the comments on screen? Definitely not. That would take a long time. That would take a very long time. <laughs> so once once this, as soon as this stream is over, in a couple minutes, I'll private it, or unlist it, whatever that word was, unlist it, and then take it down, add an intro and an outro, and then I'll post it again on Wednesday. So. Ta-da. Okay. I've seen a couple people saying one last question, and that was about it. So I'm going to end this stream here. It's been fun. And many more streams in the future. So get hyped. Or don't. I mean, I personally might might not be, but but bye. Yeah. Bah. You did great. Thank you, Omar. Got to go, bye. I've also got to go. So, bye. With a lot of ease. Here, let me just type this in the chat. Everyone's. Add a little, little wave. Is this necessary? Where is it? There. Cool. Love your content. Keep it up. Thank you, Luis. Um, Is that Luis or Lewis? I thought Lewis was spelled with an E-W, but I don't know how to pronounce words. Um, have a nice day. Don't know what time it is. It's 3.17 here. All right. I will see you all in the next upload, next stream. Um, I make videos twice a week. You already know that. You're all subscribed. You're notification squad members, whatever. Keep creating awesome things. See you later.